What is up guys, it is Michael Lieutenant from Absolute Arbitrary, and if you were wondering, yes, I did just record about 8 minutes of commentary and go like, wait, no, that didn't sound right, and delete the entire thing on purpose, completely intentionally, that is how I roll, if I can't do it in one take, I delete the whole thing and do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not how I always roll, but that's how I rolled in that particular situation, so that I could talk slower, and so that I could cover what I actually wanted to do, because I just went on an absolute tear and went on some sidetracked unicorn story about some corn riding Superman outfit, and I don't really know where that went, but it was crazy. Actually, that didn't happen at all, I lied. Alright guys, but what is up? Right now, what you are watching is Rush on Metro in Battlefield 3. The beta just ended, so I am sad, but that is alright, because the release is coming out shortly, and then all will be good, or well. Actually, all will be well, because, well, it will be good, because it's not going to be evil. But it also will be well because that is the proper word to use in that situation. And just a small channel update about my intro. There is not going to be any intros from this point on in my channel. And I feel like this is going to be for the best. Because a lot of people are being turned away from the videos or disliking my videos. Strictly because there is an intro. And I feel like that's robbing me of... Of a, a good rating because of how they feel about the intro so what I'm going to do is stop the intros for all the videos and have a very short four second outro at the end of the video so no one can really complain because after all the content so they're really not missing anything or waiting any longer at that point because they can just go away from the video and it's gonna be all right but see the thing for me was about the intros and the outros but it was kinda like a side project in the sense that I could be creative with it and I could do play around with a little bit of music and not have to worry about the content itself because something like the like this video, for example, there's really not a lot of editing I can do to the actual video because it is just a strictly, it's a gameplay commentary. So there's really not that availability for the editing and the having fun with it. So the intros and stuff were that way of being creative on the side, but also kind of sticking with that commentary, you know, direction. And the reason why I haven't been as active with the video uploads is not because I've been getting lazy. In fact, I've been going kind of crazy and that rhymed, and I really don't have time to do all this. See, I actually just did that because it rhymed again. And trust me, I won't rhyme anymore. But I was doing a job for a professional photographer, and I was transferring some photos of his, and you're thinking, yeah, that's easy, and you're right, it is, but it takes a lot of time. There was about 1,400 photos that I needed to do, and I needed to put them in exact order how he wanted them, and describe them in all the exact and keep all the information accurate and everything so it was a lot of busy work it wasn't necessarily hard but I did finish up over the weekend and I let him know because I didn't want to keep him waiting even though he didn't really have a set date so I'm pretty sure he was just fine with it as long as it got done but I didn't want to keep him waiting I would rather keep you guys waiting and I know that seems kind of harsh but like you guys aren't paying me so you know I gotta prioritize things and I want to look good for somebody who is a professional and you know he is a freelancer I believe but still, in the eyes of me, that is my name out there, that is my work, and I kind of don't want to put out a bad name for myself. I would much rather have that, you know, get it done, you know, and just stick with it until it's done and whatnot. So, but it is all done now, so it, my attention is all on you beautiful people. But just a short little summary about Battlefield 3, it's awesome, and that's really the entire description, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to go into extreme detail right now, but I think the game is amazing. I love the pacing of it. I just, I love it all, and I will be picking it up at release. But here's another thing I also want to go over is because, you know, if you guys watch my other videos, you guys know that this Christmas I'm working to get a MacBook Pro, and so that I'm pretty much restraining myself from spending any kind of side cash, so I won't be going out to eat more with my friends lately I won't be going and you know buying all these side accessories and that includes video games I will not be getting as many video games as I want until from here to Christmas it's completely possible that like my brother might pick one up or my parents might pick me one up but as far as my personal spendings will go they will not be going towards these video games which will definitely have you know it won't be as much entertainment from here to now but if I have you know I have gears you know and I'll be getting at least Battlefield 3 so that's plenty of entertainment from now to Christmas I don't have to be greedy with all these new video game releases and it's kind of the same scenario as if if you had a group of kids and you were like if you don't want to wait you can have one cookie now or you can choose to wait 10 minutes and have two cookies and I believe a motorcycle is gonna drive by and that's really annoying brum 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 okay or you could wait 10 minutes and have two cookies and I guarantee you that a lot of people would be like I want a cookie now because it's that instant gratification instead of 
you know, waiting in the long run and actually getting more out of it. Well, this is kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm waiting for the long run and getting more out of it because I'll be getting a new MacBook, which means I'll be able to use more software. And it, overall, it's just a better outcome for me because, yeah, what are video games to me now? You know, they're currently entertainment. They're my hobby for this YouTube stuff. But overall, it's not going to get me anywhere in life. And that's not entirely true, actually. Because it, it is benefiting me as a as a person. I am able to speak better. I have, you know, that personable skills. And I feel like that has a lot to do with speaking to myself inside of this YouTube thing. I, I feel like it's given me a better way to explain things. I feel like it's slowing down my pace when I talk. Because if you guys notice, if even just, I'm sure if you guys look at like three videos back, you know, I don't talk like a normal person, or not like a normal person, but like a, if I was talking to a person, I usually talk a little bit faster and I spit all this information out, in which case I don't cover, or actually I cover more information, but over a, a shorter period of time, which, you know, for these nine minute videos, it's kind of tough to cover everything I want to do because I just spit it all out in the first five minutes and I'm like, oh, what do I talk about for the rest of this thing? So there are a lot of benefits that are actually coming from this YouTube stuff. But overall, it's not going to be a career, and if it does happen to be a career, well, I'm certainly fortunate because I would love to do something like that. But I do want to become like a graphic design artist or a cinematographer to become a director of movies and that sort of line. I want to be doing something creative for the rest of my life using video production, and I intend on doing that. I am working towards that, and that is going to be my goal. And, you know, so I'm choosing to wait for the outcome of the longer run and then how that will benefit me more than the games now because there will be plenty more games and there'll be more content so I can wait you know that is something that I'm good at I, I have a lot of patience I don't know why but I do and so I'm gonna use that to my advantage right now this round actually to completely hop onto the game was my best round ever and that may not seem like it to you guys because the clips there's only so much that you were seeing from the game but the game itself was about 25 minutes long and I scored just under 10,000 points. And if you guys don't know, check your last scores, and I bet you they're probably about three to 5,000 points. So I'm almost doubling your entire score of a round. And how did I do this? It's because I played my role. I play a strong medic role, and I'm reviving, and I'm getting mad you know, healing points, and that is racking up points really quick. This was the first round, or I should say set of rounds, that I was playing with a full squad. Actually, no, I lied. We did have four people, but I believe somebody else was on the other team, so there's only three of us. But we were playing in a squad, and we were using the squad as a squad, and we were sticking together, and we were working together. And just that teamwork is really essential, as you'll see in the end of this round, especially with the medic roll, is that we had about 10 lives left, and it went down immediately down to eight. And with the revives, it went back to 10 and it kept us rolling that it was that final push if we did not make the moves that we did at that last second we would not have won that round I promise you we would not have but we used teamwork we used communication and we used the medic role to our advantage and we were able to come out with a win and so you know I think that playing with friends is extremely beneficial to the game because not only are you communicating better and performing better so that you were have generally having more fun but you're having more fun in general because you are again communicating with your friends you're joking around you're getting things done and everybody knows that winning tends to be more fun than losing that's just how it is it's not like you know I'm playing favorites against winning I mean I completely am but that's not entirely the point point. and what I actually did was pause the commentary to comment on somebody on Facebook and here is a pro tip to you guys for real life if you have a car and you drive and you have a cassette player and you don't have cassettes and you have a CD player and you don't have CDs but you want to listen to your iPod, just go to Walmart, about $10, $15. You can get a cassette to auxiliary um, converter is the word I was looking for. And then you can just play your iPod through the cassette player and you have magic. Woo, ah, yeah! Bet you didn't think of that yourself. And if you did, then congratulations. You have some common sense and you've wandered around Walmart to the point where you've found that. And I kind of run out of ideas to talk about, or actually better yet, I covered all the things I want to talk about in this video. So what I want to kind of throw out there right now is I've kind of been debating starting a second channel for like short films, like legitimate short films, like films that will grab your attention, eat your inner self, and like make you like feel bad about drinking bottled water because it's bad for the environment kind of thing. But it's so like subliminally so that it doesn't directly say it, but like you kind of get that message from watching the film because I want to enter a lot of local film festivals and stuff like that and actually begin that kind of that push to become like a cinematic director or producer and that is kind of what I want to do and I believe this video is up so thank you for watching guys rate subscribe comment and just take it easy guys